you just want a well you're gonna watch this will be the opening right now for you guys you're gonna watch a shoulder workout that I did at five this morning the reason I want you to stay till the end of the shoulder workout is there's a little light to be dawned on you and it dawned on me today and I want to share that information with you guys today but I don't want to do it during the workout here's your workout enjoy this and stay tuned right after Hey, let me uh, take one second here to let you guys know that my products, the Titan Crew, are available over at Walmart. You got the pump product, get that focus on the workout, the test booster, bump it naturally, and then the joint support. You got to keep the joints healthy. That way you can train for a lifetime. I want to take a second from my show to say thank you to one of our sponsors, Transcend. This is the health and wellness company that my family has chosen to work with. They get your blood work done so you understand what is going on inside. We might look good on the outside, but you never know what's going on. So that's who I'm recommending for you guys out there. Get on over to Transcend. Get your blood work done today. Make sure you're healthy and stay in the game. I'm going to tell you, this is just feeling incredible today. Come on, Docky. Little uprights on the Smith. Now, I don't know if you guys ever find this, but I do. When I try something different and go away from the norm for a while and then come back to the norm, oh, man, the stimulation is so much better. So we've been doing a lot of lying down with the hands inside rotation for the uprights. And so today we're back on over to just basic upright rows. Doc, can I get a, uh, a hell yeah? Hell yeah. Yes, yeah, my guy. And then we got this sexy drunk drink of water in here. What's up, Biggs? Hey, bud. Same thing. Now his chest is up. You notice that? Drop your chest. No, no. Don't lean forward. Drop your chest. There you go. And rotate the shoulders forward. Someone hasn't been working out. <laughs> so this is kind of like the normal position. I don't want you to do it that way. So you heard me say, uh, drop your chest forward. And so what he did is he was doing uprights like this, right? And then I just said, drop forward, and he went like this. So he didn't do anything. He just moved forward. What I mean is you're going like this, do this, drop your chest. Then put your shoulders in front of you not on the side, but in front, and rotate it up. Oh, I just love the feeling. And it also opens the shoulders up to a different way. So again, drop, shoulders in front. Oh. It's a great way to get 
rear delt, side delt, and fronts all together. You will love this. Try it out and then let me know how you like that. Thank you. History right here. Cuckoos. They don't know about cuckoos. Cuckoos. We've been around for over 30 years. Fresh to go. Fresh to go. Look at you. Fresh to go. Original OGs right here. We still here today. You kids don't know. Yeah, man. Man, we've been here a long time together. Yeah. You guys have a good one. Over 30 years. It's my boys. Oh, we're still here though. We're still doing this. All right. We got some row action going on. Upright row. Check out the hand position. We are in a Smith machine. Shoulders forward. Drop the chest. Bring that bad boy up to your chin. And if you pay close attention, you see he's bringing it in front of his face. He's not just coming straight up under his chin. He is in front of his face. You guys are gonna love that form. The only thing that maybe, I'm not doing this. I'm doing this. Try it out. Let me know how you guys like it. All right, so there's a nice little workout. Now this is what I wanted to don on you. I worked out five o'clock in the morning. Cool, and I think most of us will go, well, you got the hardest part done. The rest of the day is easy. The workout's the most important thing. I disagree, I disagree. I think the workout is the fun part. I get to work out. It's not like I have to, I get to work out. That's easy. As I was leaving the gym, it dawned on me that the next 22 hours, I need to stay on the nutrition. I need to do what I can to recover from that workout. And so I can come back the very next day and do it again. And that got me to thinking about a couple decades of lifting and, and taking it for granted in a sense, because of the fact that I was talking to some of the guys that were there and they've been there for 30 years with me, if not longer. And I'm like, skip the fact, fact, that I can be behind the neck press 315 today. Skip that, because I think most people miss the idea that, well, I did it 34 years ago, and I've done it every day since. Okay, that's probably lost on the majority of society, and I understand that, but it's the fact that I can still do it. And again, it's not the fact that I'm doing behind the neck press, it's the fact that I can move through it, and be healthy, and move in those positions, and still lift heavy, just doing the exercises, and being healthy is such a benefit. And it's not solely because of the workouts. It's because of how I eat. It's because of how I continuously eat and treat the body kindly and never break it down and destroy it to the point of where there's no recovering. That's not where you wanna to go to. So it just kinda of got to me that you're gonna watch a workout, you're gonna go try the workout, but there's the facets that you don't see in the video how did I eat afterwards? What program am I on? Why did he train like this with that kind of form and that kind of speed? It's the little things that you're seeing but not paying attention to. Now, I'm not saying that's all of you. And I'm saying this just so you can, after the fact, go back and watch it again and go, well, let me watch his speed. Let me watch why he trains the way he trains in that form. And again, <sighs> heavy for me, or the weights that I move, maybe to you is heavy. To me, they're moderate, they're good weights, they're stressful weights, good term to put. They stress my body to as much as I need to be stressed to build it stronger. And again, when you guys go, well, heavy weights are bad for you. No, heavy weights are good for you. Stress to the mind is good for you. Learning new things that you're uncomfortable with are good for you. And living around people that are a notch higher than you, for me, I love being around those kind of people because they push me to get better. But it stresses me because I want to do as good as them. So I just kind of wanted to put that out there for today. When you watch this, I don't want to put a disclaimer on every single video and going, hey, the reason why I'm still here today is because this, this, and this. You guys know me. You guys know that I say it 
over and over again, the food is the most important thing. And it's not running away from food. It's about going to the food. That's your medication. Food, and it's you're available. You guys can all have it. And if you don't know how to do it, just jump on the Titan meal plan. Get started. That's number one. Then the proper training. Not training, proper training. And then from there, we'll just keep working it and testing the body and testing the body. And then changing exercise periodically. I know that was a lot to cover, but I kind of wanted to start this week differently than most because of the fact that we just had the Olympia. We're two weeks away from the new year. And I want you guys to go with me on the new year with the nutrition and the training, if you want. If not, keep doing your thing, keep following me. I love you guys. We're having fun doing this. And let's, uh, let's rock and roll into the new year. Have a good one. Listen. Yeah.